Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to reset a disabled iPhone without iTunes in 2021. It's pretty quick and simple actually, so let's go ahead and jump in. The one thing about resetting it after it's been disabled is um, if you want to not wait that time frame, you know that one hour, one day time frame, to reset it without iPhone, you're gonna have to go ahead and um, reset the entire phone, meaning you're gonna lose all of your information if you don't already have that backed up. However, if you know that it's backed up, then it's okay, we can jump on in. All you need for this trick is somebody else's phone. It doesn't matter um, if you, like, you know them really well. It doesn't matter if you've ever used their phone. It just has to be somebody else's iPhone, and you can go to iCloud on their phone and reset it there. So we're gonna do this remote setting. Pretend this is my friend's phone. What I wanna do is go to my um, Safari. Then I'm gonna go to iCloud.com. From there, I'm gonna sign into my iCloud, and then I'm gonna go to find my iPhone. Sign in if you haven't already. It's gonna bring us to this page. It's going to go ahead and load, and it's gonna load all of your devices. Then we want to locate the device that we want to reset. Click on that device. And then we're gonna hit erase iPhone. We hit erase iPhone and then we hit continue. This will completely erase that person's iPhone or your iPhone. Take away that disabled motion that's going on on the phone. Then once that's done, it might take about 10 minutes to automatically um, restart. You can restart your phone, then go ahead and log in as if it's a brand new phone. Then when you get to the part where you log in, if you wanna restore from backup, you can go ahead and do that through your iCloud. So if you know you have everything already saved and it's been backing up, your phone will completely go back to normal and it will reset to whatever backup you had. However, like I said in the beginning, if you haven't backed up ever, then you're gonna to have to take the risk if you don't wanna use your iTunes to go ahead and lose all your information. However, you'll get your phone back and that will go away the disabled part. If you guys have any questions on that, let us know in the comments below. If not, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe.